In a small town with about 4,000 people, it's missing one thing. <laughs> A mayor. The dogs are the dogocrats and the cats are the republic hats. 25 of them are running for office, all working pets. By that we mean they either live at the business that their person owns or they go there on a regular basis. Cats don't want a dirty dog running their town. Dogs say cats are too sneaky to be mayor. Sit gentle. Meet canine number one. Dance. Good girl. Rosie. She's known for her nose at this chiropractic office. She could smell trouble and she could smell the good stuff too. This is Felix the cat. He's only one of four Republic cats running. Is he fiscally conservative? Uh, yeah, he doesn't, uh, d does not want to spend much money at all. With a lot of pressure from his party. Well, he's circulating meeting some of the constituency locally. You know, he started about 8 o'clock this morning. Felix thinks he can <coughs> pull it off. These contenders may have the upper paw. Abby and Flynn are two for the price of one from an accounting firm. Two heads are always better than one. They're a little shy at first, but with a little bribing, they warm right up. This is George. He waits outside his owner's restaurant. Every day, people stop in to meet him. He'll even give hugs to win some votes. So where can you vote? Well, there's several polling places of sorts around town at the local businesses. All you need is a dollar, and then you fill out the ballot. Once you have your choice, you just stuff it into the box. So who will put up a good fight? Who will catch the most votes? The campaign trail, or should we say campaign tail, is getting hot.